Yo, yo, happy fluke fishing. First day in New Jersey, opening day, right? We're gonna use my new setup right here. Bates Hondo, Benke rod from Major Craft, and we'll be throwing some Z-Man plastic, fluke style. Let's see if we catch them, let's go. All right, I am just launching now and it's cold. The water is cold, like it's crazy. We had like the warmest uh, April and all of a sudden, fluke opening weekend, it's cloudy, it's windy and it's cold and it's supposed to rain later in the afternoon. But it is what it is. They say that uh, right before it rains, it's good fishing, right? And wow, the back bay is water right now. It's pretty clear. I'm liking it. But let's see if we catch some fish today. I'm so excited. Let's get some uh, deeper water and I'll put the drive on and let's go, go, go. All right, folks, I am going to fish this setup for the first time. I'm not going to spend your time and talk about entire details here. Y'all can check out my video. I'll walk through the entire setup right here. But this is going to be my first time fishing the Ben K, the six foot nine inch medium heavy. We're going to try to do some flounder patterning, okay? Try to catch one of those biggies. Fish finder on. We got four feet. And not only size structure skin here, I'm not looking for like, I guess, pods of bait fish, but I can later. We'll figure out uh, if there's any, uh, what do you call those? Striped bass or whatnot. But I need to tune this up for a second. Get this reel going. The hundo is awesome. Okay, and we're in five feet of water. We're gonna go out further. Yeah, start off with white. There's no sun right now, cloud. And uh, yeah, oh, here's the drop off to three feet. Really, that's it? All right, well, what up? We get out to the channels, start heading towards uh, the main fishing grounds and uh, hopefully we will slay them. But yeah, I can see that the water current pushing, you know, there should be some active fish here, yeah. but it's still not that active. There you go. And that's fishing, baby. Using the fish arrow. Fish owl flash J. That's what my little brother's using. The fish owl flash J. All right, folks, I'm gonna fish the bay rough, okay? And I'm fishing it rigged upside down. So when you actually take this and put it in the water and dart this thing and give it slack like me, look at that. It's going like left, right, left, right. And the key of this lure is you cast it out there, right? You listen to the bottom and it's like eight feet of water. And we're listening to the bottom, right? And I'm trying to keep in position. The current's going this way. And I'm just gonna dart this thing back, just like that. And once in a while, I do a strong pop, let it sink back down and then pop, 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 pop. Let it sink back down. Pop, 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 pop. Okay, so it darts all over the place and hopefully uh, it'll entice some fish to bite near the bottom. Uh, this is a Japanese lure for sea bass. Okay, but we're fishing for flounder. Let's see if we catch any. And just jiggy, jiggy, jig. Just let it drop and jiggy, jiggy, jig. Jigga, jigga, jigga. What? 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 Let's drop to the bottom and I got a bottle. Nice. I got a water bottle. Check this out, yo. Personal best, baby. And I caught a water bottle in my life. Look at that. What is this? Dang. I got it right in here. Look at that. You guys thirsty? Um, that's disgusting. That one, but it's a tiny guy. Oh yeah, the flea flap, look at that. Oh man, I hooked him right in the eye. Yee, all right, well, that's one. First one, all right, anyways. Go. We need the sun. That's what we need. You got one, huh? Oh yeah. Fishing. 
Flash, Jay, right there. Fish out, Flash, Jay. Back bay fishing. Okay, okay. Good size? Right. It could be a, it could be 17. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Second one, but it is going to be a small one. Oh my gosh. Dude, this is a nice catch. I want to eat a snail, man. Holy oh, smokes. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> this got to be like one of the most interesting catch ever because I can't get him out. He sucked it in because he had a, like a strong muscle. He's like slowly sucking it in non-stop. It's like I gotta smash the shell or something to get this thing out. He has some strong muscles, man. There he goes. Look how heavy that thing is, man. Look at that. This thing's so mangled because I had to bend it out. <laughs> it's crazy, man. All right. We'll try something fun. Very, very fun. We're at the Jackal. This is the Drift Fry 5 inch, or is it like 5.2 inch, the metal one. It's um, going to be very, very interesting rolling to the bottom. I got a quarter ounce. I'm trying to get it. Hold up. Yeah, it's gonna roll at the bottom. Oh yeah, that thing is rolling, rolling, rolling. So I'll pass this thing out. Woo! Get to the bottom. And I'm gonna jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Yo! 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 Got one! Got one! Yeah! Yeah! Not a big one, but this is fun. There's a lure here. <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta take a photo of this one. Look at that guy. Alright, let's unhook this guy. Ay, 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 don't destroy my plastic. You got some nice teeth there. Alright, off you go. Man, that was one tough trip. My brother and I chose a specific spot to launch where there's gonna be a lot less boaters because opening day, it could be a zoo. You know, we wanted a spot where there's a lot less boaters, but unfortunately the place that we chose, the water was cold. When we got there, the water is around 55 degrees. And by the time we left, which is around uh, three o'clock, it was close to 60 degrees. I think the fish were just not there. And the fish that were there, well, probably locked jawed. And the ones that bit, pretty much shorts. All the boaters that we ran into, no one got keepers. Uh, someone said they got a keeper, but they were somewhere else. And they boated to our area and hopefully they find some fish. But they said the, the specific area that we were fishing, right, regardless of where, the water was just too cold. So that was just a bad planning on my part, but I'll do better next time. All the fish that we put up today were just too small. We couldn't keep them. My brother did catch more than I have. He was using finesse fishing techniques, throwing the fish out of Flash J. Uh, but I did actually catch one that was very, very close, but unfortunately it was not recorded. I rigged up a Z-Man, the scented jerk shad, and I put a rattle in it and I cast it out there. I turned off my GoPro and I was cleaning up my deck, right? And then all of a sudden they hit and then I reeled it in and then after I released the fish, I realized I was not filming. So, I yeah, uh, it was like around, I think it was close to 17 inches, but that was the biggest fish of the day. Anyway, you'll definitely see me fish more back bays this season, especially in May, because I want to learn more about early season flounder fishing in the back bays. And I'll be fishing throughout, I guess, to the end of June before I start transitioning to the surf in July. So definitely want to stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching the Fish Don't Wait. The flounder is here, so get out there and go slay them.